buoyed with the success of landing our new system, we knew then we had to really transform the organisation. Um, so almost revisit the goals of, it wasn't just about new system, it was about performance enhancement, it was about product differentiation. And you know we really need to accelerate our efforts and our energy in terms of delivering those. And that's our next phase of our development we started to move towards then, a real transformation effort on the back of the fact, now we've got the engine in place, now we know the system works, our people are trained, how far, how fast can we go from here? Well, one voice, one team, one vision was the biggest employee engagement effort across Bupa and we believe across the UK. We work with one of our biggest corporate clients to really sort of impel on our people, sort of, you know, what is the case for change here? Products just weren't working for them anymore. Customer service was okay. And hearing that for the first time in one voice, one, one team, one vision was very powerful. We also painted pictures of the vision and something that we started to encapture of being a healthcare partner and a healthcare partner for our customers for life, which is now embedded into our, our ambition on a page, is what's what we call strategy, um, but also is embedded into our vision. So we need to differentiate more. We need to improve the pace of change. We need to really build on SWIFT, our new system, in terms of the capability from that. But actually, we didn't have a lot of time to do that. We need to move very fast. And at the same time, as well as telling people something about that in terms of one voice, one team, one vision, what we did was started to ask them and started to consult them in terms of, so what really doesn't work for you in your day job today? What stops you delivering to the customer? If this thing, if healthcare partners go into work, what do you think we need to change? What are the key things that you think if your manager or your leader did every day would really enhance your performance, take away all of the roadblocks, take away the off-track behaviours, but in this zone of high performance, what would winning behaviours look like? And we used lots of innovative ways of doing that. We had trees, we had dusty bin, we had voting cards, you name it. Um, took about 80 people an hour through sessions like that in both Salford and Manchester. Uh, and also took it out into in a roadshow format to our people all over Scotland, uh, throughout the sort of, you know, uh, more remote parts of the UK, so that everyone got the message within a fairly short period of time that we were serious about change. It's an exciting place to go to. And everyone got a hold of this healthcare partner for life, which is a real differentiator for Bupa as opposed to just another insurance company. We took our people through an experiential learning event and we said to them, right, this is what our people are telling us. This is how they want to be led. This is what's really, you know, getting them down every day in terms of delivering to our customers. And we need to fix it as a leadership population. We then took that into our performance management structure so people are measured and rewarded. Uh, part of their bonus is linked into uh, winning behaviours. I have to say the most profound impact on me, and I've sort of been in Bupa nearly 10 years now, was the fact that for once we had 450 people in a leadership population all headed in the same direction. And if there's one thing that One Voice, One Team, One Vision gave us, that was fundamentally it. One place, one set of behaviours, one direction. And uh, it really worked in that sense. E-learning supported a One Voice, One Team, One Vision in quite a critical way, really. Um, and this is really... Um, only the second time that we started to use e-learning as part of a classroom intervention, so bringing the two together. We have um, a number of different sites based around the UK and we were really keen that everyone had a similar experience to those that were based at our two main sites. So the e-learning was developed um, to really replicate as much of the live experience as you liked and um, it was taken on the road and we took it out to each of the different centres around the UK and it was facilitated to small groups that enabled them to get across and involve and participate in all of the activities that would have happened at the live events. And it just meant that we had such a consistent message for the very first time. And it felt really similar in terms of the experience and the messages that those people received. So consistency was really key in, in that particular project. So around about uh, March of 2011, what we did is we then surveyed all of our people around five or six key measures and all about sort of like, did they know the objectives of the business? Did they know what winning behaviours were? Um, how did it impact the day job? And we saw those metrics start to rise and people start to say, we believe again in this organisation. And particularly for very paternalistic sort of organisations, we were you know, going through redundancies, which was unheard of you know, a year ago, had a huge impact on the organisation. So all those important metrics like morale, like sort of you know, the winning behaviours and how they were being implemented, like the sort of impact on the customer we started to see very early stage. 
And then through the summer, because we're always monitoring what our customers tell us, um, we then saw you know, a significant shift in employee um, uh, impact on our customers. And external surveys started to recognise us amongst the top brands in the UK. In fact, one particular survey placed us third behind John Lewis and Waitrose, which we're extremely proud of in Bupa. Uh, in terms of you know two significant retail iconic brands that we that we'd been pipped to the post by, but to be third in that position was really good. And then the final piece was uh, in uh, November this year we published our uh, employee uh, survey uh, outputs again, and these were you know much bigger output than the pulse checks we'd done earlier in the year, and a whole series of measures about management practices, about how people were rewarded, about how joined up they thought the organisation is now compared to, you know, in previous past. Um, but also things like how the winning behaviours were being embedded, how they understood them. And most importantly, our journey towards healthcare partners for life. And all those scored significant increases and significant recognition within, those, um, within that poll itself. So they, they were the big things for us in terms of deliverables. But most importantly, the customer wouldn't have known what was going on there. And the customer told us increasingly they were satisfied with what Bupa was doing for them.